Good morning, everybody. I hope you're doing well. We are at the hardware store. Linnea is quite upset because she wanted to take her little backpack, but she had to make a choice this morning. She wanted to take this whole, like her hands are full of toys and we told her to make a decision. She didn't make a decision. We always tell the kids that they have five seconds to make a decision themselves and if they don't make a decision, then mommy and papa have to make it for them. And so we chose a toy and she's been complaining about the other toy ever since we got here. So it's just, um, it's just all part of it, all part of having kids. We want to put in some more grass seed so that the grass is a bit more, so, so that it's more grassy. We have some grass, but it's very thin, very light, and it tends to be more dirt. So, oh, those are, oh yeah, those are nice. Yeah. Callum, yeah, yeah. you wanna come choose? Okay, you choose. This one's right there. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna grow them. So we have to dig a hole, uh -huh. put water in it, and then flat them with dirt, okay? Okay. And then, the, and, and tomorrow you will see it, it will go, they will come in two days. Um, I think they take longer than two days. They take longer than 20? I don't know. Depends on when they bloom. But it's 100 square meters. And mommy, mommy? Well, they're falling out of your thing. They're falling out. Where? Where, Papa? This one? Let me see, Nini. Mm, not one to two. Oh, oh, Americanisha. <laughs> oh, Where's American flowers, huh? See that, okay. man? That's what you chose? Mm. Those are beautiful. Um, Calm, do you want to choose some too? That one. Slide it. Thing. I got okay. the same one. All right. Nice. Now we got some. Okay, everybody, I'm doing something that I've never done before. Super excited about it. Um, I'm going to meet a subscriber friend. Uh, she contacted me. She lives here in Berlin, and I'm really excited. I've never done this before, and I'm really excited to do it. I'm walking, there's all this graffiti everywhere. It's pretty incredible, really. Uh, we're in Kreuzberg, which was a place we were told not to not to get a flat here. Everyone said, live in Berlin, but not in Kreuzberg. <laughs> it's not meant for kids. Um, that's kind of cool. Anywho, so I'm going to meet this wonderful, wonderful woman, and I'm so excited. Yeah, a friend. This really sweet woman has been so wonderful, and she's messaged me all kinds of stuff. She's actually from the US, so, that's an accent I haven't heard in a while, and I'm, I'm just excited. I, ah, I'm excited. We're walking, and right up here is Gurlitzer Park. I've got to walk through this park. We're going to this cute cafe called Five Elephant. Apparently they're really known for their cheesecake, so we're gonna go and do that. All right, so this is Gurlitzer Park, and I gotta tell you, I've heard a lot of really bad stuff about this park. This is, um, I'll have to tell you about this park in a minute. So walking through here and then just have to go to the other side and the cafe should be somewhere around there. Before Roman and I moved here, I watched a ton of documentaries about Berlin and Gurlitzer Park is apparently like a, a drug dealing park. And maybe things have changed, I don't know. I don't know, I think this documentary is from 2012, something like that, and I know that they're talking about trying to crack down on, on all of that, but you never know, so. I'm almost there. I'll be there in about two minutes. I don't know if she'll want to be on camera, but if she does, then she'll be on it. If not, then you'll see my cappuccino. <laughs> That's a cool building. That kind of reminds me of New Orleans. The balcony. I love that. And the shutters downstairs. I love that. Oh, it's a lot like New Orleans. Anywho, just showing you guys some of what I see. This is the first time I've ever, I've ever been here. Aha, here's the street, Reichenberger Straße. I think I just turned here. Okay, we're gonna turn. It should be up here. Yep, I found it. Five elephant. Yay, made it. 
wish Aww. I could have the memories you have of your kids. Yeah. Like, I look at you know, sweet little ones. And hearing Lydia talk now, I'm like, oh, keep talking. I know. She's so cute. Because you have pictures, but videos do something completely different, don't they? Like the sound of, of their voice. The sound. It and changes. These, you, and I just have to imagine you just only had like two blocks. I feel like if I had a series of them, it would follow the right. story. So you right. have a story, and what a gift that is to your kids. <gasps> You're sweet kids. Well, on that serious note, guys, look at our <laughs> cappuccinos. <laughs> look how beautiful it is. And look at this cheesecake. We're going to eat. So we made it. I'm so excited. It's absolutely wonderful and lovely. And now I'm going to turn off the camera so we can chat. Bye. All right, I just wanted to share this with you guys. So my sweet friend, she brought this book to show. Um, it's called Mercedes and the Chocolate Pilot, and it's about the whole Berlin airlift and this little girl who, well, yeah, basically, just look it up, get it, read it. Um, you met the, who did you meet? You, well, you met the guy that this is about, the candy bomber. The candy bomber. The candy bomber. She met, she met this guy today. Uh, at um, Temple Hall Airport. So that is so cool. So I'm gonna get this for the kids and I just wanted to recommend that. You guys, it was such a great afternoon. Um, I could cry. <laughs> um, well, first of all, she was absolutely lovely and wonderful and so sweet and it was so nice because we just sat for hours. We sat for hours and we just talked about all kinds of stuff. We talked a bit about social media and I thought to myself that if social media has allowed me to meet so many people, um, her in particular, and just all of you guys, the ability to connect with you guys, then it's a good thing. And I can tell you my move this time around, it's a million times different than what it was the first time moving to Germany because I have such an amazing network of people in in you guys and it was just really 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 lovely and i had a great day can't wait to go home and tell the kids and roman all about it that cafe was incredible fantastic cheesecake fantastic everything and in fact i brought home a couple of pieces of um of treats and stuff to take home to the family so yeah all right do you hear my stomach <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, the kids are asleep. My, can we cut it like that to look like Calum? <sighs> Calum cut his hair. No, Linnea did. Okay, where were you, by the way? I was cleaning in the kitchen. Because I thought the kids were playing in here. So where did they cut? Because I thought they were with you. I don't know, I don't know where the hair is. I, I don't know. Well, are you sure that she cut it? Yes, I asked Calum, did you cut it? He said, no, Linnea did. Okay, so here's what happened. I got home and the kids were finished with dinner and they were taking their baths and while they took their baths, um, we FaceTimed my best friend in the States and my battery's blinking, jeez. It's always blinking. I know. The other day was always. I know, anyways, so the, so I was in here Roman was in the kitchen and the kids were apparently somewhere else. And it's not like this place is that big to where we can't hear the kids or see the kids, but apparently um, they snuck a pair of scissors and Linnea cut Calum's hair. Anywho, we have some, I have some cheesecake that I brought home from the cafe that I wanted Roman to try. <laughs> I, brought, I brought home two pieces of cake, um, one piece of cheesecake and then one piece of polenta lemon cake. And Roman ate the other piece of cake. You got a, you got a fork? Yeah. <laughs> Just dig it with your hands. Do you want me to feed you? No. Here. No. Oh, no. Okay, here, you do it. <laughs> you gonna mm -hmm. say anything? You're just gonna eat? Mm -hmm. It's good. It is good, right? That is a good cheesecake. Just wait till you get to that crust. It's gonna change your life. Cause she recommended this place and, and recommended this cheesecake, and she was right. Good. Yeah, it's so good. How did you find it? I don't know. I don't know, but it's it's quite well known, I think, for this cheesecake. Mm. And she said, what they put in the crust, they keep a secret. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm 
You want to try? I had some, but yeah, I'm gonna. I'm yeah. Okay, I gotta go, guys. <laughs> oh, that's a big piece. <laughs> oh, Roman, not on the sofa. It's gone. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.